Hi everyone, I appreciate you stopping in today. Today's a different video than I normally do. I think I did this last year or the year before, or maybe both, I'm really not sure. Um, I The video today is my makeup inventory that I ended 2023 with. And it's basically just counts. Like I have 29 foundations. I don't know, I don't remember what the number was. So it just rolls through rather quickly. They're only like each slide is only a few seconds, um, but it gives you an idea of what I ended my year with, all inclusive to my face brushes, my shadow brushes from top to bottom face. There's no skincare. Um, I didn't include, like I did not include setting sprays, um, but I did everything else because setting spray, um, I don't always consider that makeup makeup. Like, is it makeup? Is it more the skincare? I mean, I know powders are, you know, that's makeup and that's like basically a finishing, you know, powder. So I didn't include my setting sprays, but I'll include them in my skincare end of year um, inventory that I am in the process of doing. They take such a long time to do because I have to create them on a different um, software it's just way it's, it's not just you know screens you know flying by so it takes a lot of time to do that and if there's you know 30 slides it, it takes a long time to do each one and save it and do it and then bring them together and all that kind of stuff so that's what i'm going to share today but before we get into that i wanted to show you what i did with my bins that i got from dollar general these bins so i have one right here and this has like my spare scissors that I got and tweezers and my magnetic liner and it just fits so nice in my drawer and I have them sideways and then this one is all of my hmm, I think these are the lip liners you can see all my lip liners are in here and they fit nicely and if I get too many more I will have to get another one for lip liners I have one in here, and four of them do fit. Oops, that just fell out. My eyeliners, my new ColourPop ones that I just put in there the other day. So these are all my eyeliners. And then the very last one in the back, my, and there's, you know, here's all like miscellaneous. Like I have magnetic lashes, my brow stencils, um, little mirror that we just got um this is like a moisturizing stick from boom i don't know where to put that my lash step um lash adhesive for the magnetic because i had magnetic lashes right there so i just like this is mis more miscellaneous and it is towards the back because i won't grab for it often but now when i want an eyeliner i can just go right in here and, and go through or a lip liner and see what i want so that's all now in my top drawer over here over this way i going to get some more, I think, um, and maybe keep the mascaras that I have opened and used because I don't like to keep them all in my makeup bag or in my, you know, vanity or anything like that just because it's too much. And like, I know what's open, been open. A lot of the samples I might put in one container and this way when I, I can just grab it and pick one or, you know, go through, it's much easier to go through than the drawers. So I'm going to, uh, maybe this coming weekend, if I have time, you know, go get a few more, as many as, I don't know how many more they have, but hopefully they're still $2 because that was a deal. And um, I just figured I'd share what I did with the four that I purchased. And we're going to get right into my 2023 year-end makeup inventory. 